howdy diddly dandy there chums as I, Captain Stephen X. So in today's adventure chums, we're going to go get ourselves a new multi-tool. I mean, I've got the gift of the ancients and I love this multi-tool. The scanner range is awesome. The uh, damage potential isn't so awesome, but I've got every single beam in there. So that's kind of my all-round multi-purpose multi-tool. Now if I go into this one, I've got this one as well, which again is an experimental multi-tool. And it's the gravity engine mark, whatever that number is. And yeah, I really like this one. The damage potential is through the roof and I've got the incinerator in this one. Now the incinerator happens to be a module that no longer exists in game. I think they put it in by accident just for a short while and I'm fairly sure we're probably going to get an upgrade that offers this in law and canon in the near future. I'm hoping anyway because I love this weapon and I'm hoping we can get some S-Class modules and really make it a thing. So I'm hoping maybe the flamethrowers do appear and my last multi-tool is this one. Now I think this multi-tool is an odd one out amongst my multi-tools. It doesn't look that experimental. It kind of looks like a rifle with some sort of tusks sticking out of it. Now I do like it but the colour scheme doesn't really go with what I'm going for and it feels, yeah, it feels like the odd one out and I haven't really set up a purpose for it. So I'm going to go trade this in and I've found a really cool multi-tool to replace it with and I'm hoping you guys like it. Heck yes. So this multi-tool is a pistol that I'm going for and I think it's freaking awesome. Heck yes it is. And it's white and yellow and it's got tusks sticking out the top of it and it looks more experimental. It looks more in keeping. Anyway, Exo, please can you give us the code for this lovely multi tool Captain Steve, I gathered this code over on Reddit. The code is Eagle Sunset Gem Sunset Okay, XL, I'm ready for the next part of the Cody Man code code. Triforce Whale Sunset Beetle Eagle Boat TP TP Well, there we go. I do love a double TP. Nice one. Awesome. And activate Mundo. Chica pum pum. Chica pow pow. Now, something that I need to remember to do, chums, before you head into the actual portal, is make sure your network settings are disabled. Because you don't want somebody, the opposite side of this portal, picking up the multi tool before you get a chance to get there. Now, I don't know how busy this is going to be or what the chances are, but turn those settings off to eliminate that from happening. You don't want to get scuppered. Heck no. Right, so I'm just Jumping through the portal, and we're arrived to Kate it in the opposite side. Oh, we've got a lovely array of suns there. It says first contact, but I am not the first person to set foot on this world. Heck, no, I'm not. Right, well, let's take a quick look see around. Oh, it's a nice and hot planet here. Oh, it's freaking warm. Anyhow, so what I need to do now is perhaps call in my shippity ship on this planet here. So this is on Cestio, so it came with instructions on how to get this tool, and I need to do a reload. So I need to jump into my ship, out of my ship to create that auto mun save save, and then I need to go to the options and reload that auto mun save save. And yep, there's going to be an important announcement, harmonica time coming up. Important announcement time. Right, my channel is nearly two years old. In July of 2021, with two years. If you could hit the subscribe button, I would love to hit the 15,000 subscribers by then. Anyway, important announcement over. Right, well, I'm back into the iteration like a frog just falling out of the sky. Excellent, so here I am. Right, so my Anvil of Destiny is perhaps not the best ship to be dialing in the code and coordinates. As you can see here, there's no markers, no comms balls, no base markers, no nothing. So I'm going to be calling in my shuttle. And the reason I'm calling in the Shield of the Air, my shuttle, is because of the dashboard layout. The dashboard layout gives me a screen that's an easy view, so I don't have to keep nudging my different 
sort of sticks to see where I'm going. You can see there, down by my Nodin Nada, that's just doing a head somersault right now. <laughs> yeah, there is some coordinates. It says plus 74 and minus 26. Now, I need to get that to be a plus 37 and a plus 45. And at that point, I land my ship and I dial in the secondary digits on foot. That's how I usually do it anyway. And sometimes when you actually get there on foot and you're that close, you can spot it in camera mode or you can, you're can pretty much on it, basically. And it doesn't take too long there. It's a couple of hundred U's in each, either or direction. I say a couple of hundred. It could be a couple of thousand. But anyway, let's get closer in. So I think I need to head slightly southeasterly of where I was at the portal to actually dial this in. So this is a little time later. And as you can see here, I'm now a lot closer to that. So I'm plus 37 and plus 44. I just need to get that into a plus 45 before I land. So yeah, I'm getting quite close to that right now, plus 37. And yeah, the secondary digits are plus 37.57 and then plus 45.91. So yeah, I'm getting really close to the 45 now. I've already got the 37 dialed in. I'm scanning to see where I can pick up a building because sometimes scanning when you're this close, it might bring up a blue marker in the way that I'm pointing. And then I know exactly where the base is. But here you go, I'm getting close to the 45 now. So I'm just gonna land and do the rest on foot. So let's jump out of my ship and let's see if we can get these markers to go in the right direction. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky. Anyway, I'm going to go into camera mode and see if I can see any structures from here, but I don't think I can, mainly because I'm not quite at the 45 yet. I'm still in the 44 range, and it's to the higher end of the actual 45 range. It's 45.91. So, yeah, it, I don't think I'm going to be able to see this as hard as I try in camera mode, but I was hoping. But yeah, that's that's what I usually do to see whether I'm anywhere close. Because sometimes when I land, I'm right on top of the damn thing. It's just over a hill and I don't see it. But anyway, so there you go. You can see up in the top right hand corner there that my current location when you use your scanner. And then if I start moving in, in a direction, hopefully you're going to see those secondary digits start to move in the correct way. So the one that says plus 44, 64, I want that to go plus 44 plus 65 to show that I'm going in the right direction. So yeah, that's all I'm doing is now just fine tuning those coordinates. Now it's going to take me a little while to get there. So I'm just going to ask EXO to speed up the footage and drop down a little bit of music. That'd be cool. chums I have reached my destiny on all day. awesome right so here I am bro so now that I have arrived at this sort of like little mini outpost type place the minor settlement I should say the multi-tool should be in the cabinet inside because I've done the reload earlier on this planet so yeah I'm just going to put down a save beacon I mean if if I need to I can create another save and I can reload from here I mean I could have done it once I reached here but to be honest I like to do it as soon as I get out of the portal it's just me yeah I mean you can do it however you wish but I will put a comms ball here and I will put a little mini shout out to the person that found this but firstly I want to make sure the multi-tool is inside of the cabinet and there it is! Hello there, multi-tool. The electric Segdan Focuser. What a cool multi-tool that is. And it matches my actual suit uniform. It looks a little bit more in keeping with the multi-tools I've already got. So yes, I'm going to be exchanging my current multi-tool. So my current multi-tool is that rifle with the tusks on the side. Now, some of you may have liked that more. So I think I'll give you coordinates in a second for that one or the actual video card. But yeah, this is the electric Segdan Focuser. And you can see the damage potential is OK. The scanner range is fairly good. In fact, the scanner range was better than my rifle anyhow. So yeah, I'm fairly happy with this. I just need to upgrade all of the slots. So here we go. Let's give the shout out and credit where credit's due. So thank you, Ostentatious, over on Reddit for this lovely find. I've dropped a comment to say thank you as well you sir are freaking awesome i say sir it could be um, a madam whoever but you're mind blown and yeah thanking you double thumbs up so there we go chums that's the electric segdan focuser i'm now the proud owner of that i'm really liking the free tusks on the top and the fact that it's experimental really really cool multi-tool 
And yeah, I think that completes my ensemble. Awesome! Now, if you do want my old multi-tool, that Raphael, I will put a card at the top of the screen in the right-hand corner there. Be sure to check that out if you want that. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. So mind-blowing multi-tool. Thank you very much again. And uh, yeah, thank you guys out there in the viewer world for watching. Heck yes. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Heck yes. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck yes, there's also merch on this screen now. Awesome!